we will move forward to the next uh, speaker, uh, Mr. Suleiman. Yeah, yeah, good evening, everyone. I'm, uh, I'm new to the Zoom, so I'll try to uh, share my screen and hopefully I'll be able uh, to display the screen to you. Uh, uh, there is a tab, a green tab uh, at the yeah, bottom. Yeah, I just put it, and then you share whiteboard. You sh yeah, you share. You guys, uh, anybody can can help uh, Mr. Suleiman uh, because I'm I'm not sure if I'm doing it correct. Uh, no, you have to share your you select your slide. Yeah, you my, my, I, I share it and I have option here. Uh, I'm, I'm not sure how to, to get that. Uh, right in the middle, there is a share screen uh, button. Yeah, I pressed on that and then uh, how to and then it go asks on. you which screen you want. Uh, uh, try to share uh, number one and number two screen. Yeah, it's, it, it's, a, it's a, a slide and an email. So how to go there, I'm not sure. Um, anyway, to save the time, uh, I can go through in in in, uh, in wording if if Wael uh, don't mind that. Okay, go. Uh, my topic was was dog dog leg severity, and uh, uh, when we say dog leg severity, it's the build rate which Wael mentioned yesterday every hundred feet, and uh, we have two two type of dog leg severity. It's the uh, angle dog leg severity and the azimuth dog leg severity. Uh, the one we have control on is the angle which we go up and down with it. And the one we do, we have little control is the drift or the azimuth drift right and left. And that's controlled by the formation. Uh, again, how this formation are deposited and how much tectonic does it have and how much uh, stress does it have it keep uh, control how the, the bit, where the bit goes. Uh, again, uh, the reason I, I picked the dog leg severity because we drill a well which cost from different from one, one place to another, from one country to another. You start talking from five, six millions to uh, 40 millions, 50 millions if you are offshore. And your well will be successful if you have two things. If you maximize your uh, reservoir contact and you have accessible well, and the word accessible well, just underline it by two lines, red lines, because in the future you want to access your well to see where your problems are so you can remedy them or fix them. So before you drill your well, you, you must know how you're going to access this well after you finish your well. When I say you access your well, uh, it means by BLTs running cold tubing to find out uh, where where your water breaks through, where your ho hole damage, on so on. Uh, as per the area I am working in, we are accepting a dog leg severity between two and three, and that's a total between angle uh, dog leg severity and azimuth dog leg severity. And that two, two to three dog leg severity per 100 feet is acceptable to run a future cold tubing, uh, 1.75 inch cold tubing or two inch cold tubing. And yet still we're having a, a major issue with this accessibility. I think if uh, one of the students listening to us uh, can uh, either uh, a project for a, f a fourth year uh, or even a, a master degree in whole accessibility, I think uh, that would be a, a, a good thing. Uh, how, how we go about it, we keep stress this between the geosteering group and between the directional driller. Again, yesterday someone asked, what's the difference between directional driller and geosteering? Uh, if Wael allows me, and then I'll say, one is a, a pilot and one is a, uh, a co-pilot. The pilot driving and the uh, co-pilot giving directions where the pilot goes, right, left, up, down. And that's the relationship between the two guys, direction, the uh, DDs and uh, due steering guys. Uh, 
to to wrap this up uh, if you want your will to be a successful you maximize your uh, reservoir contact and also meanwhile uh, minimize your dog leg severity between two and three and again i said two two to three is uh, where i the area i work in i work in uh, uae abu dhabi uh, adnoc uh, maybe some areas have more uh, dog leg severity and some areas have less but in our area, we, we, we limit it between two and three for a future called tubing. And uh, this can be a struggle throughout the horizontal well, whether it's a short well, 3,000 feet, or even a, a 10,000 feet or 15,000 feet. It's a long struggle between the, uh, uh, between the DD, the juice steering guys, and the operation geologist, everyone trying to keep the... Uh, that dog leg severity limited to that number agreed upon before we start drilling the uh, the horizontal hole. Thank you, and if you have any questions, um, I'll be happy to answer. Uh, thank you, Mr. Suleiman, for such uh, nice uh, information about uh, dog leg severity from an, an experience uh, guy uh, who spent too much time uh, monitoring uh, steering and monitoring drilling uh, so uh, thank you uh, thank you for uh, for having you uh, you guys have any question for uh, mr. Suleiman okay we will move forward uh, in the next topic uh, thank you, Mr. Suleiman. We'll move forward to the next topic, which is resistivity uh, with Isra. Dr. Wael, Hello. you see my screen and you hear me? Yes. Okay, I'll start. Uh, good evening. My name is Isra Nabil, a fresh graduate scientist, graduated from Faculty of Science, Petroleum and Mining Geology, Mansoura University, 2018, and work as geophysicist in Babitko Petroleum Company uh, seven months ago. Uh, it's a so easy topic and very simple information because we don't have much time. Uh, my presentation about resistivity image and this is uh, and this is my agenda. I'll be talking about a small introduction about resistivity, then the application of resistivity and two common types, and I'll finish by talking about how can we use resistivity image in steering. Uh, the introduction or the definition of resistivity is the probability of material that resists the flow of electrical current, and this is the equation is Ra divided by O, uh, R which means the resistance, and the A is the cross-sectional area, and uh, L is the lens. Uh, and here is the big picture on the right hand side uh, the material uh, which is more resistive and the less resistive, which is opposite of the conductivity. And the unit of resistivity is ohm meter and it should be. Uh, it should be recorded in open or we can say and case the whole. Uh, the application of resistivity, we can use it identifying the flow with saturation, either hydrocarbon saturation or water saturation, or we can identify permeable areas and we can estimate the velocity from Archie equation. We can also use in water wall drilling. Uh, and here's a common type of resistivity. I just use, uh, I, I just refer to only to tools, lateral log and induction log. And the uh, lateral log can uh, be recorded in water based mode and consists of current electrode. We can see on the side uh, picture on the, on the left side, uh, consists of two current electrodes A and B, and uh, two potential electrodes. 
uh, mRNA and can calculate the, the resistance from OMLO. Uh, and the second tool is the induction log, which can record it uh, in oil-based mode and consists of uh, transmitter and receiver and uh, transmit electromagnetic uh, wave. We can see the picture on the right-hand side and the above picture is the well bore in the middle, then the invaded zone, uh, the near area beside the well bore and uh, the far area from the well bore is called an invaded zone and the area between them is called intermediate zone <coughs> sorry uh, or um, transition zone uh, let you know can uh, uh, record in on an invaded zone uh, can uh, reach to uh, deep area uh, so here we can uh, use the resistivity in steering so uh, resistivity we can give indication about hydrocarbon bearing zone because hydrocarbon bearing zone give high resistivity measurement so you can uh, you can change your uh, trajectory of the well. You can start. Uh, you can build up the angle or drop the angle, uh, uh, or you can uh, do anything. Thank you so much, and I want to thank Engineer Wael for this opportunity. Thank you, uh, Isra, for this uh, nice presentation. Uh, you guys have any question for uh, Isra? Okay, let's move forward to uh, our next uh, speaker, Mr. Mohammed Gamal. He will uh, teach us about near bit gamma. Hello. 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 Do you think is okay? Yes. Okay, this, um, uh, this is a small presentation. I will talk about uh, near bit gamma. Uh, the main function of the near bit gamma is that, uh, is that we use it uh, to prevent us penetrating, uh, penetrating low, low pressure reservoirs. For example, here we are drilling uh, in the Gulf of Suez, uh, South Gulf Formation and Balain, uh, Balain formation consists of Balain, Bran, uh, Baba, and Karim. This is the BBFG model. As we can see, uh, all this section have, has high pressure, high pressure zone. And we have depletion, charge depletion here before top of Karim formation. So the, the main challenges that we face is how to drill all this section with uh, Efficient, uh, efficient drilling and uh, efficient mud weight, and the prevent also from penetrating the Karim formations the depletion zone. Here. So as we see here, as you see here, we are drilling all this uh, anhydrite shale, anhydrite intercalations uh, of the up, uh, up sections in uh, South Garib and Balain, and using this near bit gamma, uh, it's offset from bit about. Three to five foot as a maximum near bit gamma, uh, and as we can see, uh, beside anhydrite, we can see the low low gamma. And once detecting this this shale, we can detect it using near bit gamma. Also anhydrite again, uh, low gamma again, and we stop drilling as casing the point after uh, penetrating this shale and confirming it with near bit gamma. We stopped drilling in the last anhydrite body before entering uh, Karim formation, the low depletion zone, as we mentioned before in this slide. Uh, if we didn't have near bed gamma, there is a problem. If we, if we, if we enter the Karim formation with uh, high, uh, high mud weight, uh, <coughs> high mud weight, and the, the ordinary gamma ray offset is uh, in our wells ranges between 30 to 40. Uh, so we depend only on uh, near bit gamma to prevent this action and uh, detecting the information or entering the information uh, and take complete loss if we face any sandstorm in the problem. Uh, thank you, uh, Wael, and thank you, all the team, uh, for giving us this information. Thank you. 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 Thank you
Uh, thank you, Mohammed Gamal, for uh, sharing uh, with us uh, this uh, info. Uh, do you have any question for Mohammed Gamal? Yeah, uh, while if you allow me. Go ahead. Uh, what, about, what about using the uh, distance to boundary thing so we can detect this uh, low pressure formation way before we are close to it? Yes, but we aren't use uh, the distance to boundary tools uh, more or generally in our wells. Uh, we here are using only the near bit gamma. As, as you can see, this is a hole is a small uh, inclination about 15 only. It is not just uh, steering wheel. Uh, not horizontal wheel. Mm. Okay. Okay. okay, you do Thank steering. You. you don't. You, you do steering, Muhammad, or you just use the near bed gamma for uh, near deviated and near deviated well. No, we use it in vertical wells and uh, deviated wells, ranging in uh, inclination up to seventy-five or seventy-eight, even, uh, but not completely just steering well. Only DD. Okay. Okay, thank you, uh, Mohammed. We will move forward to our uh, next uh, speaker, uh, Ola Dili Sigan. He will talk about drilling mechanics. Okay. Okay. Uh, I'm trying to see my screen. This is <laughs> mine. Okay. Yeah, yeah, this is your screen. Yeah. Okay. Okay, you are sharing screen from phone. Yes. Okay. Okay, it's go ahead. Up. Okay. I'm so sorry for the delay. It's loading. Yeah, I'm starting now. Okay, go ahead. All right. Good evening, everybody. I'm from Nigeria. So this is just my virtual presentation on drilling mechanics. So I think a sub topic is it is like just like a research topic. Uh, it's titled an integrated approach at drilling optimization from petrophysics and machine learning. Yeah. So I'm Oladele Shiala Banji. I'm an undergraduate research fellow from the Federal University of Technology in Nigeria. All right, next slide. So this is the idea for the paper. You know, during drilling operations, the, the, the idea is to create cavities so, so that we can assess the hydrocarbons in reservoirs. So, the, the financial application, the, hello, can you hear me? Can you hear me, please? Can you hear me? Yeah, we hear you. Okay, okay. Yeah, so the financial implication of drilling operations, uh, as, as, as uh, in the time past, people have st started research on it. So, so to, they, they, they went into drilling optimization. Yeah. 
سو سو ده اللي بيوصل محمد 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 جمال محمد جمال كلوز يور اوكي ام جيفين ا نيو فيس تو جين اوبتمايزيشن سو دي دي ايديا از كومين فروم دي سوب سوفيس دي بروبرتيز اوف ذا نو دي 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 ايديا از ذيس دي ستينت اوف ورك بروبرتي دي 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 ستينت اوف ورك اور ستينت اوف كوميشنز سو دي دي ساتوي ديبندنت اون نمبر اوف فاكتورز اور سيتيز انكلوسيف Cementation factors, inclusive, uh, uh, and so many others. So uh, you have two minutes. Know. You have two minutes, Oladili. Oh, yes, sir. So, so the, the idea is to okay, let me go to the the workflow. So the idea is to pick like some some specific data point. I mean, some specific data from the well logs, like delta t, um, sonic response time, bulk density, um, density per porosity, sonic porosity, and resistivity. And then we do feature engineering with known relationships. We generate this of SP, which is a um, conventional wave velocity, shear wave velocity, young modulus, static young modulus, dynamic young modulus, and some other and some other variables. So from these features, we we, we use known empirical formulas, known empirical relationships to get UCS estimates. So from this UCS estimates, we average everything, and then we use the feature on the feature and variable. To, to train our model and then do the validation. Then we can now relate the UCS that we get using these properties. We, we can relate it to the uh, rate of penetration model. So it, it, it's actually a way to go from the subsurface to the surface in doing optimization. Like relating, in, 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 instead of considering the rate of penetration, rate on the bit, the, the mode density, the bit size, and everything, we 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 can be faulty and the, the mechanical lapses in it. So it's actually a very good way to extrapolate from the subsurface to the surface. So, so, so that, that's all in the presentation. Thank you, Robert. Thank you all for listening. Uh, thank you. Thank, thank you very much. Thank you, uh, Oledili, for uh, sharing knowledge uh, about drilling and mechanics. Uh, anybody has any question for him? Okay, thank you. We will move forward to uh, our next speaker is uh, Ali, uh, Ali Mahdi. Ali, Dr. Ali. Yes, I hear you. Yes, I hear you. Thank you. Okay, okay, thank you for sharing. Thank you. Thank you for sharing your screen for me. Okay, you are welcome. Due to connectivity issue, okay. uh, our topic today will be on uh, seismic uncertainty. Uh, firstly, we will define what is uncertainty and how it will affect uh, our debt. Uh, firstly, we have this is a chart on the right corner of my presentations, which show up. Uh, how we could reduce uncertainty but firstly we should know what is uncertainity is uncertainty is um, the depth about the result of uh, any measurement to reduce the uncertainty of both precision and the accuracy should be increased firstly we define the precision of our data which is the closeness of agreement between independent measurement of a quantity under the same condition and the accuracy is the closeness of uh, argument between a measured value and the true value to know. Uh, and we, of course, if we need to know this, uh, you, we must calibrating our data. So uh, uncertainty, if we apply this on seismic, we will find this uh, uncertainty in effect of resolutions uh, due to our tool is have uh, some capability of uh, certain resolution, which may be lower than the well logs. Uh, and also in, in, in a conditioning of such data, which if, if we have a poor conditioning for, for, for the seismic data, uh, for example, as we may have a migration artifacts, something like this, this also is considered uh, as a cumulatively, uh, when we are going to uh, finalize our project or model, uh, to increasing the uncertainty. Uh, so, uh, to increase our uncertainty, uh, to, to reduce the uncertainty, we, we should increase uh, our precision and our accuracy of our data uh, to uh, reducing the uncertainty of our data. Uh, please, next slide, well. How, how, to, how to avoid 
how, how to reduce such risk and, and increasing the confidence of our data. Um, uh, and to avoid all this, we, we may using the traditional way by validating our data by uh, um, um, make sure of that we have a good quality of data. And there is some of the advanced technique may be used in, in this time by using what we can call the gang network is, is as a combination of uh, neural network, yeah, uh, which may be used to uh, to increasing the quality of yeah, our yeah, seismic yeah. data through yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, someone is opening his mic uh, to increasing our um, our quality of data, so we could uh, reducing the uncertainty from the beginning of uh, our data. Uh, and other ways, traditionally, we integrating more data, which is uh, with our um, seismic data, so we could uh, taking advantage uh, uh, of the integration with the multi-resolution tools, uh, and this will uh, may um, uh, increasing uh, the effectivity uh, of our model at the end, and also will reduce the uncertainty uh, of our data. Um, I believe um, this is all the, what we have now for today. Thanks, uh, thanks, Swain, uh, mm -hmm. for um, let me share this with you guys. Thank you, uh, Dr. Ali, for such a nice uh, presentation about seismic uh, uncertainty and sharing uh, such uh, valuable knowledge with us. Uh, you guys have any question for Ali? Okay, uh, thank you, Ali. Uh, now uh, I finished all the topics I got in the WhatsApp group. Uh, I know that we have some people, uh, they don't have WhatsApp. Uh, so that they are not in the WhatsApp group, or if there is somebody uh, he was he already prepared the topic and he didn't mention in the WhatsApp group, he can uh, raise hand now uh, to uh, listen to him or to share his uh, topic. Now I finished all the topics that I got in the WhatsApp group. Who, want, who wants to present? Dr. Dr. Weil. Yes. One of the things which we probably missed that you probably actually can also add uh, what software the service companies are using. And uh, Particularly. Okay, and uh, this is the, the, yeah. Okay, you can actually because this is one of the thing which uh, we somehow I just want to have a feeling um, because it looks like that uh, the vendors they have their own customized software. Okay, so maybe you can actually uh, say something on it. Okay, so uh, now there is uh, there is no more topics, right? Nobody uh, else with us. Uh, uh, he has a topic to present. Just I want to make sure that all, uh, all, all, all the participants now uh, already finished their topics. Okay, so now uh, last one was uh, Ali. Just a second. Okay, uh, you, you're uh, uh, Ash oh. Rana. Who's this? Yeah, this is Muhammad. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm muted, but uh, I didn't know that I'm muted. I have to say some counts, please, if you allow me. Uh, you already present? No, 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 no. I didn't present, but uh, actually, yesterday I have uh, some of uh, internet connection is, is so bad. So at the final of uh, the your presentation i i just uh, lost the collection the okay. collection so when when i just check the whatsapp i see some topics and all they are coming uh, like uh, and the uh, something like 
D and D and something like that. But I choose the topic, but I don't know uh, that I have to uh, make a presentation. Okay. So, so I if, think that these topics, yeah. But if, what, if you allow what, me, sir, like what? I can I can prepare and present any time you choose. Okay. What is your topic? You already select a topic. Yeah, I selected MWD and FWD. Okay. Okay. Uh, maybe later. Uh, it's okay. Uh, thank you thank anyway. You so thank you anyway. Yeah. Okay. Uh, okay. Thank you, Mohammed. Uh, uh, there, there was a question from uh, Ash Rana. He uh, you asked about what about can you ask about so software? Yeah. No. Um, it's a, just a general question. For example, yeah. we haven't covered this one. Uh, I I wanted to talk about this one. Um, like I mentioned, but it looks like that I don't have so much information. Ah, okay. uh, you can per perhaps actually add more because what, what I really want to know that the, the vendors, one of the vendors which I know a little bit work with the Weatherford, they, they are using their customized software. Is it quite normal practice that the, all the vendors, they, they have their own customized software? Okay, I'll answer you about this. Firstly, uh, uh, it, it was not a mandatory that we should cover all the topics that I uh, shared with you guys. I already bought lots of topics and I give, I, I give you guys the chance to go and select uh, the topic you uh, feel yourself confident in or you have already experience uh, in this topic. Uh, but this does not mean that uh, we should cover all the topic uh, that uh, has been mentioned. Uh, in the list about software uh, geo steering softwares there is some uh, software they already uh, uh, very uh, uh, confidential and very specialized for the service uh, company itself because th it's their own software and they will not allow anybody to uh, access this software this is for the main service provider Schlumberger, Baker, Halliburton, Weatherford, all the service company that they have, they have tools, they have mechanical tools uh, that uh, they use in geosteering. Uh, any kind of tool, any kind of geosteering tool, they have their own software. This software work only for their tools. And, the, and uh, this software has the capability and has the frames and has the, the, the way of connection between the tool and the software. So you cannot get the output of his tool and take it uh, outside and uh, use it uh, in another software. I'm talking about which tools? I'm talking about the, 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 the distance to boundary tools, the main geosteering tools that we are using nowadays, Periscope, Periscope HD, Geosphere, as it track, uh, Guide Wave, uh, 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 many, 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 I don't want to forget any kind of, uh, of distance to boundary, all this uh, uh, kind of tool that I mentioned yesterday, a distance to boundary tool, the processing and the display and getting uh, the signals it's not that easy to uh, do it in any in, in, in any other software. So each uh, distance to boundary tools invented by a certain uh, service company, the this service company has uh, their own software, have, know the language of the of this tool and know how to uh, uh, show the result of the tool and make it beneficiary to the client. That's why if you uh, for example, uh, have the geosphere, you will do a job with Schlumberger with ge geosphere. You have to grab Schlumberger guys to do the job. You cannot do it yourself. Uh, so they, they have their own software in this aspect. You may monitor, you may get uh, any directional measurement uh, or any uh, uh, other LWD, MWD data and get it in any software and check it. But for this certain tools, because th this tools is very expensive and it's not open for everywhere. Yani even uh, the data uh, that uh, communicated with the client, 
the data that he want uh, or the data that he it, that help in his project not not every thing coming from the tool will go directly uh, be, this is because this is their uh, their own property and their own uh, invention and they have all the rights to uh, keep what they want to keep and to reveal what they want to reveal if we talk about uh, other uh, software th there is a very common software also uh, yani star steer one of uh, the simple uh, and the user friendly software that can help you uh, in, 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 in conventional geosteering and I'm, I'm talking about geosteering using uh, uh, model compare update or using model logs or synthetic logs and geosteering using image you can use uh, this software uh, it's, uh, it's, it's user friendly and it's easy uh, you can go and uh, test and take a trial. Uh, there is uh, the offer a free uh, demo uh, trial, so you can uh, you can go uh, go in the website and uh, ask for uh, a trial license. Uh, there is many good features. Uh, you can display. You can make the model. Uh, you can insert. Uh, I hope I, I have a time to show you uh, some about the star steer. Maybe we can make it uh, a future session, inshallah. Uh, you can you can use even your seismic, uh, import seismic, and you can make a model. You can make a layers. You can make a dunes. You can make uh, offset uh, wells, and you can correlate between your offset wells and your uh, real time wells. Start st stretching and matching uh, between both of them. Uh, very, very, uh, you can even you can use more than one offset wells. Uh, there is many softwares also. Uh, Betrill has a module for geosteering, uh, Geonoft has module for geosteering, but general geosteering or conventional geosteering. Uh, Kingdom has module for geosteering. Uh, I think Geolog has module for geosteering. Yeah, this is. Uh, maybe what I can say about uh, geosteering software. Fair enough. Um, I appreciate that. that you are welcome. Very, very clear. Uh, I, I think one of the, the comments which I have, maybe uh, with the limitation of time, I wish um, next time if, if you can just include a demo, really, uh, of uh, the software. I mean, you know pre-modeling and updating the modeling and the course, just very quickly, it, it just... Uh, okay, uh, maybe uh, I promise when I, when I have time, because for me, I'm, uh, unfortunately, I'm so tired nowadays. Uh, when I have time, uh, I promise we will uh, make a session. Maybe I invite... For, for us is okay for, for the other students, the next, your future students. Okay, uh, and uh, maybe I can invite one of uh, Roji uh, team. Uh, he will uh, be with us. Uh, maybe he will also. He can explain more in uh, in, 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 in in the star steer more than me. Uh, uh, okay, we we, we can. Uh, uh, I promise we, we 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 I'll try to handle something like this uh, in the future, inshallah. Thank you. You are welcome. Uh, so no more topics. Uh, 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 thank you, guys. Uh, any any anybody has any comment? Uh, he didn't like something. He, he has he has a su suggestion. He has uh, something he want to say before we uh, close our end uh, end our meeting. Yeah, hi, Wild. It's uh, Suleiman again. Okay. Uh, yeah, uh, can we keep this uh, WhatsApp group dynamic and just keep it there? If, if anybody has a, a question, they can throw it, and whoever feels capable answering the question, then the group will be dynamic all the time, and people, especially the, uh, the college boys and the girls, uh, they're still in college, they can ask, and uh, the guys will just answer them straight away so they can benefit from the, uh, from the group. And even between the, uh, the experienced guys, if, if someone faces a certain issue, 
he can throw the question and uh, I'm sure some of the guys somewhere in this uh, globe has faced the same problem before so they can answer them so uh, I would suggest keeping the uh, the WhatsApp group dynamic and if someone volunteered to uh, a LinkedIn to create a group for for this as well then uh, that will be great okay uh, this is a very uh, good uh, suggestion we will uh, we will do it inshallah uh, i promise from my side uh, i really uh, like how you guys interacting in whatsapp how you re how uh, how you guys sharing knowledge uh, with uh, your uh, colleagues in the group how you guys communicating your technical profile uh, with uh, each other uh, because this is this is the value of knowledge sharing and this is the value of getting such uh, sessions and getting uh, such uh, webinars and getting such small uh, courses uh, especially in this boring time dealing with uh, such COVID-19 stuff uh, so I hope you guys uh, positively use uh, this uh, gathering in, in a healthy uh, situation and in a healthy uh, helping others. Uh, you guys help other, help each other, uh, share knowledge with, with each other. Uh, help, we have, we have some students in the group. Uh, we have some uh, fresh students and we have students still in the fourth year or third year. So uh, this is a good chance to uh, learn from you guys. We have lots of experts in the group and their fields. Uh, and this is, this is a good, good suggestion, Mr. Suleiman. We will, uh, we will do it, inshallah. OK. Uh, now uh, we reach to uh, the end of uh, of the session. Uh, I would like to thank uh, thank you all uh, for this uh, enthusiasm and this spirit for sharing uh, the knowledge uh, during your topics. Uh, I really liked it. Uh, as as I promised, uh, we will uh, get uh, the top. Uh, five presentation and uh, we will give them a uh, free uh, star steer uh, license but this is uh, th doesn't mean that uh, the, the, mo the, the, the five this five is better than the others you guys all did uh, a very uh, nice job uh, appreciate your time and appreciate your shared material with us uh, that's it uh, from my side uh, uh, you will get certificates as well, uh, but not now. You will get it. Uh, uh, I think uh, I finished my stuff. I don't have anything to say. Thank you very much, Dr. Weil. Really appreciate your all the effort and honestly. Thank you so much. Uh, I, we can fully understand it, how hard it Thank is. Thank you. Uh, before leaving, because there is some people uh, yesterday. Let's have a picture. Ah, they sent me, uh, yeah, they were very uh, sad because they left uh, and they have some emergency. They uh, forced it to leave before we get the picture. And when they saw the picture, <laughs> they got very uh, sad. Yeah. Uh, okay, you guys, uh, you can, uh, if, you, if you, uh, you're in a good uh, situation, just uh, open your uh, camera. Do you allow Muhammad Yunus because he's he, literally he's begging to allow him to to get into? So I think uh, Muhammad Yunus is just waiting. Okay, 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 okay. Uh, finally, thank you, Swail, very much for your efforts. Thank you, all the team. Uh, you are uh, very intelligent, Swail. I think you are a very good expert in this topic. I support you very much in your initiative to uh, to give this course, uh, volunteering this course. Uh, I wish you all all the best in your life and your in your uh, job, inshallah. My pleasure, Habibi. Shukran gazile. Um. Well, hello. Uh, yeah. This is Reed Magdi with you again. Uh, I was trying to, to shout out my hand in the in the chat, but I guess you didn't see it. 
Sorry, I I I I, I just uh, no no it's 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 very much okay. I just wanted to say sorry about the the time loss I I did experience uh, okay. due to the, the the lack of knowledge about the Zoom video thing. Um, and so about the videos, I I would like to to, to send them on the, the WhatsApp group. Uh, and uh, most importantly, on the the other hand, it's uh, even though it didn't go much as planned. Not the, the very much best of a presentation I ever did, but uh, it's a win-win situation knowing that uh, I got the chance to know all of you. So uh, I would like to, 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 to share my gratitude and gratefulness. I did get to know you all. Thank you so much. It's okay, uh, Farid. Uh, very happy having you with us. Farid, one of uh, also uh, the active students uh, and uh, he's a uh, first uh, in his class from uh, Alexandria University. Uh, we are uh, happy to have him here uh, with us. Well, that's so much to hear from you. That's, I'm, I'm so grateful. Thank you. Yeah, so you are welcome. Okay, uh, time for uh, picture. Uh, yeah, you guys uh, have your camera on? Ready? Cheers. Yes. Cheers. Maybe Mr. Cheers. Suleiman. Where is Mr. Suleiman? Mr. Suleiman is the, the father of the group. Where is, where is it? Our role model and your theory. We have a small uh, here. Okay, uh, Danya Ahmed. Okay, thank you guys. Wish you a very uh, nice time. Thank you for very it. much. For you and your family, please uh, keep in touch. Uh, stay tuned. Uh, thank you for having. I'm very honored and very. Thank you, Khalid. Uh, thank you. Uh, very happy having thank you. you. Yeah. Thank you, okay. Guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, Wael. Thank you very much. Appreciated. Thank you. Bye bye. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Wael. Thank you, you. You are welcome. Thank you. Thank you all. Salam, Muhammad Yunus. Salam. Thank you. Thank you.